fever pitch just about set to kick it off in the SEC. That's going to wrap it up here in the studio, but we'll be here to keep you up to date on everything else going on in college football throughout our game. But it's time for ESPN's College Football, Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet on the call. More than 90,000 fans have packed into Ben Hill Griffin Stadium, and they're all making noise. Football from the Swamp is coming right up. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler. My partner is Kirk Herbstreet. Aaron Andrews will join us on the sidelines. And we'll be kicking off under the lights thanks to Dove Men Plus Care. Be comfortable in your own skin. Our matchup features the Auburn Tigers and the Florida Gators. Two very even teams today and what should be a real nip and tuck battle. These are the matchups you just love. These two teams are so much alike that it's got to be a really hard fought and close game all the way. And it's almost time for kickoff. But first, let's send you down to midfield for the coin toss. Presented by Dove Men Plus Care. Be comfortable in your own skin. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. quickly to the tailback and they make the stop around the 35 yard line what a play boy solid job there by the quarterback recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver first down 10 yards to go ball on their own 35 He is drilled at the 33. Well, That's give the awesome defense all the credit the here. They had that one snuffed that out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. It's second down now. 13 to go. Ball on their own 33. Nice run, and he's brought down. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 37. What? And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Martin back to return it. Booming kick. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. Return for a gain of nine yards. The offense will take over at the 27. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. That's a smart call to exploit the pass rush and open up some space for him. The blockers did a good job of selling that play. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. They'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. 
The crowd at this stadium always a factor in a football game. Gives it off. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a six-yard gain on the run for the tailback there. Another good run from this running back. Let's see if he continues to get his carries as they continue with this drive. Gatewood steps back to pass. Here they come. He heaves it to the end zone. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That's a loss of six on the play. to convert another one and keep this drive going. And this stadium is alive. Drops back to pass. He wants it all going long. And he hits him hard. It's the 12-yard line. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. yard line first down gets to about the 14 yard line gain of two on the play that makes it second and eight second down eight yards to go ball on their own 14 brought down at the 13 yard line Here's third and nine. Ball on the 13-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Back to pass. They bring the quarterback down. You know, the offensive line really let the quarterback down there. They've got to do a better job of communicating against the blitz. It's one thing to pick up a blitz, but you also have to obviously pick up your defensive lineman. That time, a miscommunication, and the result is a sack. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. McPherson to punt. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. He might be playing a cat and mouse game here with the defense. And he's tackled at the 18. Gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. He's changing things up. Option here. Pitches out and the ball is up for grabs. The defense wasn't fooled at all on the option. And it was their discipline that created that turnover. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Run there. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. They'll bring him down at the 32. Loss of one there for the halfback. That'll make it third and five. Third and five situation. Ball on their own 32.
He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. Very nicely done here by the defense. They did a good job of keeping them in check on their side of the field. Martin is back to receive. He really got a hold of that one. Tackle made at the 30. They'll go to work at the 30-yard line. Caught. And he's taken down around the 40-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. First down. Back to pass. Quick toss. And down he goes at about the 27-yard line. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. He drops to throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. And that's the second interception of the game by this defense. These guys are all over the field. It seems like wherever the quarterback throws the ball, there's a defender sitting right there. From their own 20-yard line, first down. to the right he gets hit out of bounds at the 32 yard line he kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback first and ten ball on the 32 They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So the sack makes this a second and long. Franks drops back. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down to the ground. Three, maybe four yards on a scramble. From their own 30-yard line, it's third down. The sub package in there defensively in this five-wide receiver set. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and 11. McPherson is the punter. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. They'll set up shot at the 38. Got a man. Watch out here. Tackle made around the 46-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. He drops back. He's hit and taken down. Gain of seven on the play. First down. They're calling an audible. He's gobbled up in the backfield. It's second and 12. Ball on the 49. He lets it go. 
The defender had it and then dropped it. Schwartz, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third, third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Fires in a hurry. Interception. And now he's got room to run. So that's their third interception this half. It's simple, Brad. The defense has been really, really good. And the offense has been really, really bad. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 37. side with the option. Tackled after a decent pickup. The fullback showing some good skills there on the option. He got five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 32. Fakes to the back. He steps up, throws it out there. It's complete, and he's immediately tackled. Excellent execution on one side of the ball that time. And it looks to me like the defense was in a little state of confusion. Let's see if they can pull themselves together. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. at the five-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. From the five-yard line, second down. They'll get him for a loss. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and goal. It's third down, and they come up to the line about nine yards away from the end zone. He lets it go. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. Florida up six and he tacks on the extra point so a fourth play 32 yard drive and it results in a touchdown the score now seven nothing everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff and he got all of this one great kick he's to the 10 and down he goes at the 22 returns 22 yards Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. And he's tackled in the open field. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. He's going to air it long. And a great catch downfield. To the 20, and they make the stop at the five. Call it a gain of 63 yards. That brings up second and goal. Defense and their short yardage package. Gatewood on the option. Gets to about the five yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. Looks like he might audible out of that play. They try to get a head start there. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. From the 10-yard line, it's second down. He 
He's taken down at the 14. third and goal all on the 14 yard line and this stadium is alive it's a bad play overall by the offense the quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute the problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him they're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted he gets it up and it splits the uprights like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll get the ball here at the 25-yard line. Florida is up four. Brought down at the 34-yard line. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Gators lead it by four. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gets it. He's in space. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. Porter picks up about five yards on that hookup. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. They go with the option. Gets to about the 41-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That brings up second and nine. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. They'll knock him down for a loss. That is a loss of two yards. Third down. Third and ten coming up. Ball on the 39. They'll line up with five wide receivers. They'll bring him down at the 49-yard line. Gain of 10 on the play. That makes it fourth and inches. Fourth down. Fourth down. And the offense is still on the field. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. He fights forward to about the 49. Not much there for the halfback, but he picked up some tough yardage. Well, nothing fancy here. The back did a nice job of putting his head down and getting the first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 49. Throws it out right to the running back. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. Florida holds a four-point lead. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. That is a loss of one yard. That makes it 37. It's the ninth play of the drive. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That makes it fourth and long.
Fourth and long here after the sack. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he's taken down at the 25. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Looks to pass. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And down he goes around the 37-yard line. First down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Try to change the play. He looks to throw on first down. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. And he is drilled at the 39. That's now four extra possessions they've given their own offense with these picks. Think about that. That's a formula that'll win you a lot of ball games. First down, Florida is up by four. Zips it to the back. Tackle made right around the 38-yard line. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 38. Hand it off. He's at the 30. Makes it out to about the 16. From the 16 yard line. First down. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 14. What? Passes left, going the other way. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. First down. They're deep in their own territory. He's looking to pass. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. And there's not much he could do to get away from the junior safety on that play. On the option, left side. Not a good spot to have to punt from either. Oh, excellent punt. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48. Florida is up four. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. The intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Ah! 
And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Thomas on the tackle at the 40-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And they got him for a loss. Very stern effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. That'll make it fourth and ten. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Tackle at the 17. Second and 13. Ball on their own 17. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Call it a gain of five yards. Third down. This is where you get false starts. And he's level at the nine. Sack makes this a fourth and very low. Booming kick. Brought down at the 46. This is a great place to start the drive on the opponent's side of the 50. Florida holds a four-point lead. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Loss of three on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 49-yard line, second down. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That brings up third and 10. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Franks drops to throw, throws it to the outside. He's hit and taken down. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. So the defense has got to be thinking if they've already forced a red zone turnover, maybe they can do it again right here. Fumble, loose ball. The defense falls on it. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop at about the 29-yard line. So they go to the air and pick up six. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. We'll wait and see here if he really does change the play. Quick strike to the receiver. 
That's a great tackle at the 34. Schwartz picks up around five yards with that catch, and that'll keep the chain gang moving. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. He's got it with room to run. He's at midfield. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. That makes it first and 10. They'll spread the field with five wide. Possibly changing the play here prior to the snap. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's tackled in the open field. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he hits him hard at the 31. He'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. And he got it to the sophomore. Brought down at about the 23-yard line. First down. Looks like he might audible out of that play. Inside the 10. And he tackles him hard at the seven-yard line. Auburn just took their first time out. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. You know, this entire group functions so well as a unit, and you saw it on that touchdown. Very good team effort. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. Auburn holds just a two-point lead. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 72-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Well, you have to be impressed with the offensive coordinator and what he's been able to put on display right now for this offense. They've worked all week, Monday through Friday, to put a plan together. And when you're a play caller and you start to see it come to fruition like this, boy, it makes you feel really good. So our score, 10-7. The offense will start at the 25-yard line. He's back to pass here on first down. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Back to pass. And he's tackled at the 28. Auburn's a little confused. They used their second timeout. That makes it 37. He's going to try and scramble. He lost the ball. Recovered by the defense. They'll bring him down at the 39-yard line. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. at the one-minute mark, first half. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Throws a bullet over the middle. He's tackled around the 27-yard line. For a gain of 12 yards. First down. Auburn has a three-point lead. Handoff up the middle. Makes it out to about the 13. That's good for a gain of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. What? 
He's got it. Touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. And he hits the PAT. A quick two-play, 27-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The score now, 17-7. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And this is just a booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Here comes the offense. No doubt looking to take better care of the ball on this drive. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into this. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. Florida's going to take their first time out of the half. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. Fires out to his receiver, and he's taken down at the 47. The Gators are going to call their second time out. First down. out for that one. Tackle made at the 40. They're calling an audible. Across the middle, he's got his halfback. Tackle at the 23-yard line. And he doesn't like what he sees. He's going to change the play here. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Looking right, intercepted. Brad, it's still early in this game, and they might be able to get back into it. I just feel like the quarterback seems to be forcing things a bit. Now, I understand trying to get back and fighting to get back in the game, but that time to throw an interception when you really need points, that was a big mistake. First and 10, ball on the 31. On the run, guns it to the back. And he is drilled at the 41-yard line. Number 28 on the tackle at the 41-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. The Tigers, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. First and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. He drops back. Throws it deep. Doesn't get there. We've played a half of football here. Auburn's got a 10-point lead. Florida is lining up to get this second half started. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on their own 20. Gives it off. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of five on the play. Third down. They're changing the play. He drops back. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And they make the stop at the 33-yard line. 
And that was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. This one is a beauty. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He drops to throw on first down. Great concentration. A decent pickup on the pass play. And I'll tell you what, the defense did everything they could here. Give credit to the quarterback for putting this ball where it had to be for his receiver to catch it. Great job. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 41. Franks on the option. He makes it to the 42-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up third and ten. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. A punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. McPherson is the punter. He really got a hold of that one. And down he goes at the 24 yard line. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. They'll set up shop at the 24. Gatewood to throw. Going long. He's picked it off. This time it's the safety. He's taken down at the 49. What kind of call is that? With a big lead, you're throwing the football, and the interception here could end up costing you. down 10 yards to go ball on the 49 yard line looks like an option here he makes it out to maybe the 49 yard line that brings up second and nine second and nine coming up here ball on the 49. He's at the 40. Brought down at the 35-yard line. Number 21 takes the tackle at the 35-yard line. That'll move the chains for Florida. First down. From the 35-yard line. First down. Quick out to his receiver. And he's tackled right around the 16-yard line. That's a big gain there for the offense. And all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. It's first and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. And he's level at the 15. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 15. They'll knock him down for a loss. 
Awesome. Two-yard loss for the halfback. And I'll tell you that what, not only was this great penetration, but it was a heck of a hit, too. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 17. He's looking to pass. Slings it out there incomplete. Cleveland, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and 11. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up, and it is good. As the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He got all of that one. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 23. Kickoff returns 23 yards. The offense will take over at the 23-yard line. Auburn is up by a touchdown. And he hits him hard at the 27. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. And he tackles him hard at the 27-yard line. And this stadium is alive. quickly and he's got his man he's pushed out of bounds at the 46 yard line and for Gatewood that last pass puts him at 300 yards for the game you could tell the quarterback's done a really good job of preparing because he's read the defense like a pro all day long this young man has really had a superb game today going deep and he's got a man and it's caught the 10 and he will score that's TD pass number three. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. Tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll give it off here. The ball pops free. He's tackled at the 36. So the offense will keep possession. He can breathe a sigh of relief this time, but he has to keep the ball off the ground. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So the call on the field will be reversed from their own 35-yard line. First down. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. They'll bring him down around the 50-yard line. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed that here that you have to be concerned down. about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. the 50. It's first down. What? He looks to throw on first down. Going deep. Oh boy, almost intercepted. Jefferson oh, I bet the defender wishes he had that one back. Yeah, anytime you have a chance to end the drive, especially in your own end zone, you just got to make that play. It's second and ten. 
Ball on the 50. And down he goes at the 47. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it 37. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. That's a great tackle at the 50. Loss of three on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. This drive will start at the 16-yard line. Back to pass. He's going to go for the home run. It's broken up. Super effort to get the ball and knock it away. Real good job down the field. That makes it second and From their own 16-yard line. Second down. The halfback with a carry. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Whitlow gains about five yards on the run. Looks like he might audible out of that play. Drops back to pass. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made at the 29. Eight yards. First down. And he might change the play here before the snap. And he's taken down at the 33. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Possibly changing the play here prior to the snap. And he is drilled at the 30. Three-yard loss there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. And here's another third down. away and it's a booming punt brought down at the 28 yard line let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last which ended with a punt if they're going to make a comeback in this game it's going to have to start now this offense has to get rolling Inside the 30 to the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. They looked awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. Splits the uprights with the extra point. McPherson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And this is just a booming kick. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 26. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Auburn is up a score. He steps out around the 29-yard line. It's all about chipping away at the defense. Even short yardage completions can have a way of building a quarterback's confidence. He might be playing a cat and mouse game here with the defense. What? 
Nice grab on the play. He's to the 40. Makes the catch. That's a gain of 20 on the play. First down. That could be a check with me right there. First down and back to pass. Brought down in the open field. Gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. And it looks like they're going to change it up here. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 37. Number 28 on the tackle at the 37-yard line. That makes it first and 10. They're changing the play. He's hit and taken down. Reese makes the tackle at the 33-yard line. That makes it second and six. Try to change the play. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Get to that quickly. Tackle right around the 22-yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. Auburn is up seven. Gets it. He's in space. He's taken down around the 19-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here. Recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Fires quick. He catches another. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and goal. He goes out of bounds at the six. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. He may have changed things up here. What? Gives it right side. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. This crowd is almost shaking the stadium. Guns it in there. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He puts it deep downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll start this drive at the 25. They'll throw on first down. Quick throw, brought down at the 37-yard line. And for Franks, he's now gone over 300 yards passing for the game. Well, this quarterback has had a solid game. He's done what's been asked of him, and then some. From their own 37-yard line. First down. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. Auburn's lead is two touchdowns.
Pierce on the run. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Here's the halfback. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good enough to pick up the first down. If you can consistently get four or five yards at a pop, you know that you're going to have a functioning offense. From midfield, first down. Here's the option. He makes it out to midfield. The fullback back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. He makes it to the 48-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. He really did a nice job of anticipating the run and making the play on the ball carrier. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Tackled for a loss. Loss of three yards on the play. That brings up fourth and 11. It's fourth down. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He chucks it downfield. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. Make it three passes for touchdowns. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. What's more amazing than anything else is that these guys are still losing. So that's a seven play, 76 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Auburn up seven points. Throws it to the outside. Jackson it's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. How about the big fellas up front? This line first will have down. to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. They'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. First down, looking to throw. Wants to throw outside. Caught sideline, and he stays in. 26 on the play. First down. On the ground with the tailback. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. Appears that he's changing things up here before the snap. What? Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 18. Gain of 14 on the play. That makes it first and 10. to set up a screen for the wide receiver. They'll bring him down at about the 17-yard line. That brings up second and nine. And he doesn't like what he sees. He's going to change the play here. Let's it go. This one is incomplete. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. From the 17-yard line. Third down. They can't hear a thing down there. 
Looking to throw. And they got him. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Fourth and long here after the sack. Auburn is up by a touchdown. It's up, looks long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 34-24, Auburn. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. They need to move the ball down the field quickly and efficiently. They should maybe even throw in some no huddle to conserve time. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And a four on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line. It's second down. Slings it to his fullback. And down he goes around the 37-yard line. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guy's covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action works so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. From their own 41-yard line. It's second down. Franks on the option. He's at the 40. Tackle made at about the 35. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. First and 10. Ball on the 35. Hands it to the back. Nice run there. That's good for a gain of seven yards. So it's second down and that about two yards to go. Two. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. Porter gets him about three yards with a completion. I'll tell you, these guys just keep rolling down the field. Quarterbacks looking very sharp on this drive. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. Tosses left, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. This is the eighth play of this drive. Fires incomplete. Jefferson, the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. What? Quick throw out to the receiver. What a play, and that is first and goal. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. And off touchdown. This is great, using the big guy down by the goal line and just letting him bully his way in. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal.
and he tacks on the extra point. Florida lines up for the kickoff. He got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. Brad, at this point, this defense has to do everything in their power to try to strip that ball away to get the ball back to their own offense to see if they can get a chance to win this game. Throw in left. He's to the 40. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. For a gain of 15 yards. First down. Auburn is up a field goal. They're calling an audible. He passes it. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. So after the review, the verdict is that it was no catch. They missed it on the field, but that was a bang-bang play. The important thing is they got the call right. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and they make the stop at about the 43-yard line. The intensity of this place is increasing. He might be playing a cat-and-mouse game here with the defense. Back to pass. He goes downtown. And he's got the junior. He's taken down around the 11 yard line. Henderson makes the tackle at the 11 yard line. First down. Looks like he might audible out of that play. It's the tailback. And he tackles him hard at the three-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up second. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Tackle at the four-yard line. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. You gotta be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. Second and 13, ball on the 13-yard line. Auburn is up by three. He's looking to pass. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday. They've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Almost picked off. Defense looked like it jumped early. The defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Martin gets it on the inside. And he's tackled around the three-yard line. The delay gave the back some room to run, and he was able to pick up about nine yards. This isn't much more than an extra point.
everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Brad, really, this is what it's all about. The offense going up against the defense. Over two minutes to go in the game. It's a one-possession game. Can the offense put it together and try to put a drive, possibly to tie this game or take the lead? Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 30. Just over two minutes in the game. And he lays out for that one. Brought down around the 41-yard line. And for Franks, he gets to the next yardage milestone, 400 yards. The guy has done a great job moving the sticks all day long. He's a really good player. This is certainly one of the better performances we've seen in a while. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 41. They'll drop him for a loss. Loss of two by the halfback. That'll bring up second and 12. And he is drilled at the 44. This quarterback definitely has some confidence in his arm, Kirk. It sure looks that way. That was well covered by the defense, and he still got it in there. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Quickly, and he's got his man. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. That reception good for around four yards. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 40-yard line. Gives it up the gut. Gets out to around the 28. You know, this offense is doing what they need to do to be able to put themselves in a position to either tie the game or maybe win the football game. But what about on the other side? Who's going to make a play for the defense? Who wants to win this game? And a lot of times an individual on that side of the football can determine the outcome of the game. It's first and 10. Ball on the 28. Florida is going to take their first time out of the half. Here's the halfback. They'll bring him down at about the 15-yard line. The Gators are going to call their second timeout. Here's the eighth play of the series. Under a minute left. Drops to throw on first down. And he's hit immediately. And it looks like they're going to change it up here. Spikes the ball. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the one. The short yardage defense here. We got a tie ball game. Trying to take the lead. Here's the extra point. And he hits the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. There's no need to do anything drastic here. They are behind, but all they need is a field goal. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. He chucks it downfield. And that's his receiver who's wide open at the 30. And it's a whole new ball game. Wow, what a huge touchdown.
They'll go for two in this situation. Under a minute left in the game. Looks to pass. They don't get it. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. Well, everything is out the window now. It's crunch time. They have less than a minute to drive the ball downfield and get the ball into the end zone. Drops back to pass. Can't find anyone open. And down he goes, around the 33-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about eight yards. That makes it second and two. And he stops the clock with a spike. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. That's a great tackle at the 25. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's got it with room to run. Tackle made at the 38. Florida will use their final timeout. First and 10. Ball on the 38. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. Once and all, going deep. 